Hi folks, this is Jerry from On Tabletop. Hi, and this is Ben from Foreground. So Jerry and Ben. <laughs> yeah. And we're oh, I like the way you did that, Jerry and Ben. So yeah. people don't say Ben and Jerry's. And yeah, yeah. Go, ah, yeah nothing to do with ice cream here. Um, and we're going to be talking about my Rook's Drift. We are going to talk about your Rook's Drift mm. and the fact that um, we've been showing people if you're doing something historical or you're doing any kind of research, yeah. we, what, we do, what we're doing is, uh, is we're imagining you're the client, mm. but no money has left your wallet. It's the best type of way to be a client. Sorry, that was a pregnant pause. <laughs> um, yeah, so so we are we're making a game, but we're we're not just, we're not making a model of Rourke's Drift. We're making a gaming game environment yes. that is representative of of Rourke's Drift. Yeah, um, we did the same thing uh, something like eight years ago. It's staggering, it's, and you have a probably, lovely painted probably version. Probably closer to ten now. I don't know about lovely, but I have a painted version. I can't believe you'd actually remind me of the time. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 about lovely. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what will you have to work with such such poor workmanship? Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I, I had to hammer it out in a weekend. So this is <laughs> this is a project that we did. Uh, Empress Miniatures did the miniatures. Yep. Um, oh, they did. Warlord did the, the plastics. plastics. Empress did the metals. And Empress did the metals, and we did the buildings. I think actually, Sarissa did the wagon that came in the kit because yep. it was a bit of a an amalgam kind of thing that yeah. was being done and the whole lot as we know was uh, god bless him was uh, published yep. by uh Warlord. Warlord. yep um but that meant as the publisher they had the the the, the final say the final say yeah on and how it was going to be marketed how it was going to be perceived yeah. in the marketplace and that's only right and so that's yeah. why yeah. there were certain limitations that, that we had to do like it was unpainted mm. um you know, we couldn't we couldn't do a layering of skins, which we'll show people later yeah. to get different different effects. Um, but once you've painted yeah. it, that's what you've got. Yeah, it looks not too bad. In fact, we'll start with this, which is the front veranda of the yeah. hospital. Yeah. Now, so we went with Cricket Pavilion originally. When we were looking, yeah. you know, we were talking earlier in another video about. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, uh, not videos. Or is it video you do, or is it? I, something I assume else? it's video. All right, then. isn't it? Um, and uh, we would. If it was yes. film, it would be a better quality, less grainy. The whole show would be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so we were thinking Cricket Pavilion. If you don't know cricket, then that's not really helped you. If you no. do, then you know it's cricket. And if you don't know, it's not cricket. I'm gonna throw these out of the way. Just to show anyway. the interior. Um, so that's why we put what we did there. Yeah, we had. A fair bit of information about the interior, about mm. how it should go. And actually, one of the things that was not right, I mm. don't know if I can show people yeah, yeah, yeah. in here, we'll but it's still, is that we as we now understand it, this door here yep. had a doorway going through here, yep. going through here. So this is all lovely. Yep. That's not connected. That's not connected. That's right. That room's a bit big. But then over here, this this it was actually two residences. Yes. Because if you imagine a line going from there, actually no, from is that no, that wasn't connected. Yeah. That's right there, along there. That is the uh, staff, the housekeeper, yep. if you like. Yep. And, and so, the, so, the, yeah, the, and the rest of it was where yeah. Jim Rourke and his wife yeah. lived. Um, so there is there is. Not a door. I mean, as it was in that kit, it's still perfectly adequate because I think we put one of the breakthroughs there. Yes. Um, but, you know, that was one of the... So we breakthroughs yeah. going yeah. through the walls. Yeah. And we could punch them out or leave them intact. If, yeah, you if could. You that was how the kit was designed. Yeah. 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 Um, and you like that. I, I love that. For some bizarre reason, you wanted to keep that. Yes. Yes. Um, I did. Yes. And, and, so, and so that was that. Yeah. And then we've been looking at... Yeah. So, so uh, Queen Victoria was so uh, fascinated with what, what with Rourke's drift that she actually had uh, a member of the Royal Engineers, uh, Chard, who was there. Mm. So Chard was there. Actually, drew for her some. Yeah. Some. So, the first thing I'm going to show, actually, while I've got them here, yeah, is there is a slight size difference. Yeah. It's actually not at all. None of it is. Um, so it's relative to each other. Yeah. But it's not in scale. So. Um, the actual the actual footprint would be bigger, so I yeah. have to, I have to look for with a historical building. I have to look for where's my point of reference, where's my datum point. So I took the width of this one mm -hmm. from there to there, yeah, and that's what I've gauged everything off. So yeah. if that building is put on there, then you'll find that the, the real building would have yeah. been longer, yeah, and that's how I got that, which is why we end up with this yeah. sort of two and then inches. and then from that. I was able to work. I was able to not consider yeah. the footprint of this building at all, uh -huh. because 
the datum for if I if I can I move, may I move yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah. So if I move that one there. So now this is the um, described as a, something like a, a compact group of farm buildings, yeah. including yeah. a stable, which was very odd, but yeah. we couldn't find one at the time. Um, this is interesting to me because this has a lot more changes going to the new design yeah. than the hospital yeah. does. The hospital is, is very, very similar yeah. in outlay yeah. and um, only a few minor tweaks. He's actually trying to, what, what Jerry's trying to do here is he's trying to divert the conversation to things that he didn't particularly like in that, like we're going to, we're going to hear shortly from Jerry about how he doesn't like the stone steps. Yeah. I do agree with him that, that we now know for definite those steps would have, were wooden. Yeah. because um, we know from Fort Bromhead there is no remains of a stone staircase that yeah. would have been tied into the building. Which is this fella here, and if I go there, yeah. you can see this lovely run of flagstones. They look would, good, though. They would grease any... any Spanish building. ...building at all. Any, yeah, Spanish yeah, building would be yeah. particularly good. Um, but yeah, so at, at no stage was there a set of stone the other, the other, rocking th up The other here. thing is, is just here, uh, just here, mm. we know that this is, in, in even in charged drawings it, it's a bit odd because he's sort of colored it a bit ready as if yeah. it's an internal building but there seems to be something across the front now you can go to some of the other videos when we discussed was it a stable or whatever yeah. else but i think the thing that really bugged you was that this under here was a room whereas it definitely wouldn't have been the no. same kind of room as that one no. and now on on your one on surprisingly it's got what you want yes um, uh and uh, another thing jerry really hated was you said these bits were the, the, Something to do with non-functional, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some short little so words. Very, very short little words. And I think you've misplaced them now. Oh, no. I know exactly where they are. Oh, you know, I'll, te I'll tell you what, they're never going onto my building. Okay, okay. Um, so so you want to... Just because on this... I suppose we'll, we'll throw this one up as, a, as an example. You're not Actually, it's, it's the other part. But... <laughs> so so if, no, uh, th this, this will show it anyway. <laughs> Essentially, what I would have to do is glue these uprights for the veranda <laughs> to the top of the roof which means every yeah. time i left the roof off i've then got to balance it so well, that was where, totally my where, fault so i'm going to blame it on water no mate it's totally my fault so uh yeah, so yeah i never bothered putting them yeah. on i did consider magnetizing them at one Thank stage you very much, but yeah. i looked yeah. at that and thought i'm not going to bother yeah okay so anyway anyway what you thought about was no hang the expense hang i'll the have expense. a raised floor yeah. i will have so the, the deeper we cut it the more expensive it ends up becoming yeah. so you thought well i want really detailed cobbled sort of like a yeah. veranda thing yeah and i mean because you weren't worried about how much you weren't going to spend yeah were you? yeah because the, the cost i wasn't paying uh, no. didn't matter to me no uh, the, only, the only pain <laughs> <laughs> but that i yeah. think and you're happy with that i mean you know i suppose yeah, and, of course then, I'm happy. With and that. then we should we talk about the but? I know you really didn't like the buttresses either. Yeah, the buttresses they, they were a bit on like the rear of the original. An excuse, would you say? Um, well, I don't know if they were an excuse. I, I'd be hard pressed to say that was a buttress. Are you, if I you're rubbishing my design ability from nearly a decade ago. Yeah, yeah, a decade ago. Yeah. We've, we've all passed a lot of water since then. I had more hair. But that is a buttress. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you've definitely these, got your, these yeah. little tiny yeah. bits of brick yeah. cladding. Uh, yes, you know, I, I think in the grand scheme of things, you, know when you, you couldn't really say it's a. You like one of these guys. I really don't want to insult you, but yeah. you are rubbish. But, but, is what but, you should yeah, say. But anyway, yes. So, but this is, and also this, this oh, on here, we actually for gameplay removed yeah. that wall. Yeah, in fact, if we um, throw a top down the progression, yeah. we can show that. Yeah. Uh, so with that one there, that that oh, uh, that Sorry. way isn't it? That yeah, yeah that yeah. way. So this wall here, yeah. ha this has been made into one room. Yep. And you are a little bit retentive in some ways, so you I want it in two rooms. Very you know. And they are actually on. If you look at the photograph, we have a lovely photograph of what this should have looked like. Yeah. And then you've gone for the. We're talking about swatches in a minute. I yeah. know that, and yeah, about yeah. colours. And you wanted to define the fact that this was a kind of a repair job that was yeah. done years before. That hence the brick. Yeah. So it's it's brick built up on top of which, older, which is obvious. In that. And it's incredibly yeah. obvious. You know, anybody yeah. looking at it will go, "That's yeah. not one course." No, 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 no. Up. That's that. I, no. I agree. I agree. Um, which which leads to yeah. We've gone. We've gone. The reason, if you'd like to know the reason why I put a wooden floor inside, yes. There, it's, it's because Denizen hasn't taken pictures of the wooden floor that exists yet, so we don't know. No, but that was more for the house. It's also <laughs> because that is probably the cheapest floor I can put in there as you're bumping the price up on yeah. everything else. Yeah, well. But I won't tell people that. No, no, I um, wouldn't. I'm nothing if not And then I love, I, lo I actually do love the compromise or the, the idea that we've got with the, if you look at the, the, the stables, stables, what we have is 
They have these two little widgety things. Yep. Now, I'm I'm actually of the opinion because of what Char drew. I can't get that in there. Joe, That's right. I'll, I'll pop that in. Yeah. Look at it a little bit. Okay. Yes. So I'm actually, if you look at the other, I, I think that if Chard was in this situation and, and this was here, yeah, then I'm not going to pop that in, but imagine it's just there for the moment. Yeah. Also, you can see the invisible mending of the kit because I forgot to put the hole because this is a proof of concept. Yeah. I actually, believe it or not, I didn't laser cut that. I cut it out with a knife. You wouldn't get, you wouldn't no, know. No, you wouldn't know. No, it's, it's subtle. Um, it is. And it's actually like on the, the house, something. just talking about that, do you know, see those little, like, little teeth marks where yes. it looks like a tab was not cut out? They're actually yes. my teeth marks. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. get your dental We really get involved. Oh, mm. We do. Anyway, sorry. So I like the idea that if, if Char drew this as if it was a contained building, yeah. that it has some sort of simple wooden structure there. Yeah. That I, 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 I uh, proffer that this is... The, the stable that they were talking yeah. about, and I think that if if it was another piece of timber like this, mm. and after Fort Bromhead, this bit was kicked in, yes, then which would make sense why with, you'd be left with this, which you see all we on have the picture. Is Fort Bromhead, yeah. yeah, although we do have some people's photographs where they quite uh, are paintings, yeah, which are contemporaneous again, where it clearly shows it's not there, yeah. and then we have some other sketches where it might be. So it's so yeah. I we've got then, we've settled with the either or, yeah, whatever especially you want. when some because some of the sketches or paintings. Things like uh, Liddy Butler. Yeah, she she did an awful lot with the actual the survivors. survivors. I know, but she didn't do them on site. So there was, you know, she, yeah, so there was she bits apparently being, asked their opinion. So, yeah, so so there's there's a certain amount of remembrance, and that's the big argument and, is that that yeah. seems so substantial. Why didn't they remember it? Yeah. But then why did Chad draw it draw as if it this room was exactly yeah. as secure as that room, which it yeah. couldn't be? Which means then those big hunking stone slabs that had to be forklifted into place on that version. Will end up being replaced by just a wooden one, a little wooden set of Looks steps. Remarkably, which, like a wooden set of steps we do for uh, uh, Dead Man's Hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which makes sense. Because, uh, you know, yeah, I, I, I want to keep, yeah. keep the price down. I want to. I want to keep the price down because you're very good at pushing it up. Mm, well, we have already designed a set of stairs for Dead Man's Hand. Yep. And uh, Dead Man's Hand is a light, late 19th century environment. I thought, do you know what? I'm sure the kind of wooden yeah, staircase yeah. they build in South that's Africa yeah. will be very well, similar well, to what they yeah. built in 1879 in America. Well, that's it. European settlers will build similar styles. Things from wood with wooden tools, yeah. That way. Amazing. So. Yeah, go on. Because we've ended up with multiple colours for the brickwork and stonework mm. because of the priming. This is one of the things that we were talking about earlier. I was looking for a way to push the cost up again. <laughs> oh, yeah. The fact that you didn't want the... Jerry doesn't like the stuck-on card that we do. So what we normally... Do, if, you've, if, you've, if you've made foreground kits before, yeah. uh, I thinking about the North African stuff, um, mm -hmm. then what we've done in the past is we have not put any detail where they are supposed to put the uh, painted card over yes. the top, and that then looks like the damaged render. But then Jerry pointed out the fact that normally what happens is uh, is the render is falling away as it degrades, and so yeah. quite often the bricks are left, yeah. and the mortar has no. And so you would like us to achieve that, and uh, yeah. and, and did, yeah. And because we've got this two toned fire, so, so we've mm. got our, our frontage here, mm. and it means on the inside that you're going to have something in similar colours. On we will on the have reverse. to revert to the card that you're not keen on. We'll have to revert to the But you're happy now, I believe. But I'm happy because then it means you can have that sort of... Colour. Colour, you can yeah. have the, the, the render on the inside and it means you're not getting the sort of... Going from the, um, it doesn't make sense red. on the out on, yeah. well, on the inside, it doesn't make sense yeah, on the outside, awesome. it makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. But then going from yeah. oh, a red interior wall to actually having this sort of tan interior wall running adjacent oh, oh, to it, it, it just, it, it just it, grates, it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, it really does. Oh, it really does. Have you thought about going to someone like Laura Ashley and get some miniature like, uh, <laughs> scaling that? No, I'm uh, right. So, joking apart, one of the other things we do with people. So, so this yeah, is a yeah, proof yeah. of concept yeah. that's a bit further. Um, quite often, I might be here with just one of these test panels to mm. show you, but we wanted to get people to have the idea of what this veranda would look like. Yeah. So when I say to you, this is going, this is a veranda. Yeah. But it's probably going to be stone, and you know that where this big like lump of beige stuff is, yeah, that's where it's going to be. Yeah. 
Um, you might also notice people, if you're really hawk-eyed, that two of the bits are MDF are actually um, uh, corrugated, corrugated cardboard. cardboard. Yeah, which uh, is really keeping the price down. <coughs> again, well, no, I feel. Uh, also something to do with the fact that I left two of the walls at home. Yeah, say nothing. Which yeah. would have been fine, except I have rules for yeah. setting fire to this building, and it pro progresses room by room. Yeah. So you are if, great. There was a, if there was a big gap here, that's one room. I was really pleased and everybody that you would have been burning their way out. Six, no, I'd really have so, Honestly, you might yeah. think I wasn't at the yeah. time when no, I looked no, at you yeah, that way, but yeah. I was. Um, now on the on the original yes. we have quite a large landing. Yeah. And we also the accounts there was not a second story and no. there were some misleading accounts as to whether the window was on the ground mm. or whether it was up high. And I think what we came to the that we came to the conclusion with the original kit that well look do you know what some people say it was up there and some people say it was down there so let's put them both in. Yeah. And then when I was doing this I decided that no, it definitely wasn't another story, and yeah. I ended up doing that, which is part of the way down. And now we actually think that it's going to go definitely where we put the top one in that one. Yes, because a bit like the uh, you know the uh, shotgun shacks, how you used to have this window at the top, and its only purpose was to let hot air out. Yes, that's probably, probably what that window what was. That for. was yeah. And we're still gonna have the same thing. So you'd have to go into the from the kitchen into the store shed, that's yep. an integral part, and then from there up the ladder, and then from there through the window. Which is really good for you because that's pretty identical to what you wanted. Yeah. yeah. Purely by chance because I hadn't listened to him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm used to it. Don't worry. I know you're, you're not the first. You, you won't be the last. So, so for instance, you were presented with that, which was my first yeah. attempt, which I think you described as poor. If we want to see you know, that, I'd, I'd uh, can they can this definitely well, marks out of two? Yeah. You know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'd give it one. But, uh, and then from that we get what you were look, really looking for, which involved an awful lot of effort, different colours and everything. So now if they see the render, the way the rent... I was just going to show them that, the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So what, have, what we've done there is... So we're colouring... We're, we're cutting to the same depth as we have done on the... And also the stonework was quite important for you to be a sort yeah. of a, a, a bricky... A, a, a brownie, sandy, dun colour, I yeah. think is what you described. Dun. Uh, dun. Dun. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I thought you meant German dun, brown. Oh, right. No, no, you meant no, poo. No. no, poo. Poo brown. Poo brown. Okay. Um, now on the outside, that looks. I think actually, I, I'm glad you're yeah, opening the yeah. ask because actually I really like that. Now. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that you think here, for instance, that is actually part of the bit that is the, the bright colour, not the dark colour. Yeah. When you look on the inside, and this is what Joe was talking about, you can actually see the way they've been spliced together, and that gives you a nice sort of blending. This render is coming off. Yeah. Um, and we. I know we were discussing as to whether it should be all stone. Yeah. That was a very possible thing. Um, as the the person who's got to think of this commercially, mm. I I we're not doing a railroad, but it must have felt like a railroad. You when I said, well, look, it's rendered in there, so we'll we'll have some render yeah, on the some outside. Some rendering on the cause, outside because originally he only wanted it just for this bit. I don't know if you can see because in the photo, if you know in that the, thing, can the, you, you'll have to find that photograph. We will get the photograph brought up from and it was just after Rourke's Drift there's a photograph of Fort Bromhead which they built using and there's a tiny snippet building. of that photograph that shows yeah. rendered wall which if I if I steal one of your high-tech walls oh, wow. the photograph actually has they've built a stone wall adjacent to it there yeah. so that the stairs have been removed I think or if yeah, not but there removed was no, they're disguised there was no, there, which is why if it was stone, we, if it was stone they would still be there you yeah. would never have bothered to remove them and that was yeah. the argument and so and you can quite here, clearly you can see, see the render. yeah you can see the render on the inside and the and then instead of several stones which we've yeah. done purely to make the thing work there's one big great big yeah. dobbin stone just a big honking thing yeah um and that's why we did it like that yeah. um so yeah that's why that that's where that's at but normally mm. i would be showing you now something at this sort of stage after and and uh and we'd be talking about colors and that's yeah. where the color swatch comes in because yeah. uh at foreground we use 26 colors they're all so, colors that we've had made our, ourselves yeah. um they're high they're an emulsified oil paint but they're high pigment and they have uh an emulsifier which is organic oh good or 103 yeah one of you like, you like 103 oh, like yeah. 103. Yeah. right um um which is organic which means that in actual fact um it just so happens to be organic because we have to be careful what we burn yeah because the lasers are in effect having a bonfire so the if you use you, if you're using something diy or well, or diy diy with... shop um uh emulsions um they, they there's a lot of theirs noxious will be a gases. Well, and also yeah. they can also produce uh, um, uh, um, an acidic uh, exhaust that will damage your machines as well. Right. Um, I was very worried about yeah. you know members of staff oh. being killed 
But much more, but, but they're oh kind of God, no, no, not much more. It just happened that also the machines could get damaged. <laughs> um, anyway, that's another story. Uh, although I, I am often the operator, so <laughs> then I am oh, yeah, very, yeah, concerned, that case, very, very concerned. Very concerned. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's the, there, we've ended up with 26 colours. We've mm. asked for a few more, the designers, and I think Cad and uh, Kev are going to give yeah. us... I wanted olive drab. We don't have olive drab. We don't have an olive drab. No, we don't. But then... And I, was, I wanted the rock, a nice rock... That's the colour they're going to let me paint your wagons in. That's which I good think because is more blue though than what you would want. I don't know. I, well, no, because then once you hit it with the laser, you're in it. Well, anyway, you get a choice of that yeah. colour or none. Let's watch for the your yeah, wagons. Yeah. We're, we're going for that or nothing. Yeah, which you mean you might go for that. I would go for that, <laughs> even if I wasn't being given the choice of this or nothing at all. Really? Simply you, that or white, for instance. Well, you'd have gone for that. Well, that or black. Well, you, you've, you've seen the ones I've painted out there, which are more. It or less was that color. surprising actually that the color. And, and then you when you it. when you hit that with the laser, it would be it, great. It will bring it down to yeah, because a nice it's, weathered it's look. like it's been in the sun for twenty years. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like the sun's yeah. light hitting the paint. It's it amazing. really is. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. So. So now you're going to be uh, privy, people at mm. home, to Jerry's decision making. So, mm. Jerry, the first decision we yes. we had earlier, because this is really something we've discussed before, is you've gone for. Shh, don't run, don't run the magic for the kids. Okay, Jerry, you're what, television. what color brick do you want? I mean, actually, uh, that looks very orange. It, it looks. It is that the right? That's because it's orange. Because it is orange. <laughs> That'll be why. Shh, it's Sorry, no, they, it's, they uh, can fix it in post. The, the Pantone is. It's funny, isn't it? In there we go. There you go. That's that is the colour you... That's a bricky ready. Yeah. Not a tile red. No. Which would be that. too red. Uh, and that, that would be a black black. Yeah. Black is almost black. Anyway, so you're going for red red for the brick. Yes. A, now, a brick red for the brick. So you would then say to me as the customer, I'd like 102. I'd like 102, please. 102. One, oh, sorry. 102, yeah. please, Ben. Uh, with the uh, chicken fried rice. No. Um, one, and, then, and then the other... Question you had is um, Ren I suggested render the, color. the render color, yeah. which was a sort of a lime white, which is an off yeah. white, which, um, which is a magnolia ish. Yeah, it, and it would be very nice. But you like it on the inside. I like it on the inside, and I think also as we're and discussing on the outside, you want in, the in hot African dusty svelte. Well, they probably wouldn't plaster it; they just render it yeah, and say, so, "Well, yeah, right, right. yeah." So we render it to be done, and it would get dirty. So, and, so you've got and a filthy. whitewashed, healthy whitewash on your yeah. inside. Yeah. I don't know whether that's true or not. And then you've gone for one, two, two, yeah, which is your outside for the color. outside. And this, I think, so this is get, outside it, in the sun, and that yeah. is inside in the nice one. Yeah. So outside where there's the filthy, because they're not going to go out and start scrubbing. No, no, no. I can't. So can it will, the yeah. So once it's been sitting there as a mission or trading camp, and then a mission yeah. station for a while. Jimmy's place. Jimmy's place. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. It would easily darken over time, and I just think that will give the nice comparison. But you're happy that because you said a sort of a. You didn't say I, done, apparently. No, you said something else. Yeah, and yeah. that's that was your equivalent of the dung walls, dung yes. stone. Dun, dung dung stone. stone. I know dun, I heard of that dun, before, but yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're right. Yeah. Um, Pooey Pooey stone. Pooey stone. And that's the stone. And that's the stone you've actually got there. Because yeah. also, I've, you'd be made aware that they do get dark. You know, the, the colours will change. They the do colour, get yeah, dark. The so you're happy change, with that. Yeah. Um, um, and that's what you're going with. It's one of the things I like about the laser cut is when you do start to actually... It almost weathers itself. Oh, it definitely from, does. From what the you laser, have... um, so you have to take that into account when you're looking at colours. You can't go, oh, well, that's far too light. Yes. Because then once, yeah. it's, once it's been through, if you pick a colour that you think is more um, realistic, pre-lasered, yeah. once the brickwork's been put on it, you go, holy crap, that's much darker than I wanted. So I... it's almost like, like the Army Painter dip method. If you want this colour, you need to yes. go two shades yeah. lighter yeah. so it will darken down when exactly it works. That. Exactly that. Yeah. I mean, I think... The thing to remember also is that if you, I mean, we deliberately set it up so the vaporized, because like I said, so that if you imagine the, the, the veg, the, the organic, pl um, uh, 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 material, uh -huh. I, I'm imagining it's some kind of oil kind of, I don't know what they put, I honestly don't know what they put in it, but the emulsifier that's in it, that means that, so these are, these are, um, they, they are like acrylics. You know, you've got a paint that um, they're, they're oil oils. But yes. They are the, the the thing that they're traveling on. By the is medium this, they're in. The medium. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're like an adult explaining there things. We go. And uh, and there, yes, yeah. that is the thing that is. So it's not the the, the it's, mineral it's, pigment. Yeah, it's it's what pigments. it's uh, it's the stuff that you've been used to deliver it to yeah. the surface. And um, the thing is, is 
that leaves a lovely, dirty, grimy vapour trail, mm. which is cool for when you want to actually set things up so you've got this smudge. If people don't want that on their paint, well, if they do want it on their paint, well, I'd actually recommend that they just do a quickly, quick squirt with some matte varnish just yep. to fix it there. If they don't want it and they want a clean surface of Bring painting... Bring the baby wipes. Baby wipes, yeah. Baby wipes baby are wipes. amazing. <laughs> if it can come off a baby's bottom, it will come off our building. That's, that's an excellent way of looking at it. It is, really. Yeah. Otherwise, it's all done. Well, <laughs> very much so. Like, um, yeah. Uh, are we done? We're, uh, we're, we are we're, we're done for this part Paint then, colours. So, yeah. Paint, paint, paint colours you would need to talk about now with yeah. your, your door surrounds. Yeah. Do you, you, do you want them? I would go for either all white, mm. nothing, or possibly door frames bluey colour. Because they did that weird, they, actually that they, colour. They did, yeah, the, the same as they would have on the wagons. Yeah, the they water, do that sort water. of wagon blue yeah that, you know that, around your, your, your the, the frame of the yeah. width of the doors and then your doors I tell you what the doors would certainly be striking what would you like the doors as blue or white oh now you're asking the tough questions and i'm gonna to have to give you an answer well, yeah i know but um, well, you can give it to me off screen if you I'd want know, to leave no, it up to you me. know i was a hint yeah yeah no maybe i will i would i really do like the idea of the blue because the blue would be so striking why don't you have blue in the house then and why don't you have white on the building? white on the building something like that yeah sort you of like in that? internals and externals then yeah. almost yeah your staircase would you have painted your staircase on the outside or would you say heck no that's a load of timber i i don't know if i would good They're, that's fine yeah. that sounds like cheaper i mean that sounds like a good <laughs> a good a good reason um, and I presume you wanted pin hinge doors for every door, even when it's totally unnecessary. Unnecessary. Yeah. Well, that goes without saying. <laughs> that you would want the unnecessary. <laughs> okay. Um, some of the other things from the original building is that from the, from the, 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 the latest information, we yep. believe this was like a veranda double door. Yeah. And this was a bigger window, more of a picture window. Yeah. I'm actually thinking... One of the things I'd like to do is reduce the height of these, because in some of the illustrations, they look like quite yeah, they're, they're small not... blocked-in windows. Yeah. And so that that's what I'd like to do. Here, there could be this is there. this is where the range was here, but I think you accessed it there, so, yeah, and that's where the chimney there. went up. So this and, was. And in... I'm I'm quite happy if we don't put that in, but I'm imagining you probably want that. So so the range would have been in this. The, room. I think the range. I don't, well, all we know is yeah. that the range was there. Yeah. But we don't know whether you accessed oh. it there or there. Or so, this, so, yeah, so 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 mean, whatever twist. we do. Yeah. Um, but but I'm assuming. A, a bit like I think the uh, the cook area in uh, the Stoic Arms. Yeah. You, you want something like that there. Some, something like that would be lovely. You're not concerned it'd be too expensive. Oh, not for the likes of you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's that's what we're yeah. doing. Oh, yeah. and the breakouts. The breakouts. Lot, the breakouts are pretty. Every one of those is. They're only the breakouts that should be there. Apart from I think we've done one there extra in case they go the in other case way. They go the other way. And there's a door that's got to be there because, as you noticed and I noticed, I mm. hadn't put the door there. I'm actually going to have to move that wall that way slightly, if that's all right. Yeah, just to fit the, just to the, fit, do the, the door Because the door's so big. Because yeah. everyone's walking around with like this, this big, massive base. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like everybody's carrying <laughs> Thank a Thank God you're of... only playing with 20, 25 mil bases. It's just, you know, thanks <laughs> well, of wood. door. On... No, it's stuck on a door. <laughs> thanks of wood on their feet. <laughs> yeah. Just waddling towards um, you like an army man. Wait, you're happy with the thatch? I love the thatch. Everybody loves the thatch. How can you not love the No, teddy bears were killed, actually, in the production. No, no, no that's a shame. We had to uh, get a load recently. And but I, I did you... it by skinning Nightwatch. Really? Because yeah. I actually heard that you you uh, uh, eviscerated a teddy bear for your fires, for your smoke. I, I Teddy bear I, stuff in, isn't it? I, I gutted a few. <laughs> yeah, they, they had it coming. If they, go, <laughs> if, if they go down to the woods today, they're in they for a big surprise. Yeah. I was like Rambo coming out of the trees at that teddy bear's picnic. There were kids and things running everywhere screaming. Well, I, got, you were I got taking my stuffing. out their stuffing, and uh, yeah, it's a fog of war. It really it is. is now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there you go. That's this project. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this project. Uh, we've got uh, another one with. Uh, we've got another one with Justin, with Justin, which is about his Amazon Nordic Girl yeah. Guides. Girl Guides Scout, Scout Hut. Hut. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, Andy Zek. Andy Zek. Or as I like to call him, Winnie. No, not Winnie. Um, uh, a padding. Paddington. Thing. The little label that says, I eat marmalade and when am I going to get my Roman <laughs> Roman Ford? Ford. Was it a Roman Ford? Do you yeah. not just want a Ford? Was it not just... A Roman Ford, was yeah, it? Oh, well, it was just that? a yeah. piece of wood with, with a with, bit of gully with, with some gully. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Roman Fine, yeah. Ford. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that out to you in no time. Andy, don't worry. See? Looking after you, Sam. Thank you very much. I think we're done. i tell you what would be really nice, because yeah. I believe you're trying to get over for salute. Mm. It would be really nice if we have an example of this um, at the sort of like show and tell area. Mm. 
I might even drag you over to sit on it for 10 minutes. That, that would be torment for everybody concerned coming anywhere near us. Probably for me, I'd have left for about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'm enjoying yeah. it, yeah. It's, it's been fascinating to watch this come together. I thought something else we talked about earlier, because yeah. this is not at all... Uh, this is spontaneous. Spontaneous. Um, but I imagined earlier we were talking about whether it's going to have loopholes or not, and you want to see what it looks like with loopholes that can be removed and added. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You love it. You know I do. you love it. <laughs> you do. I really do. If there's no loopholes there, how are they firing out? Shut up, you. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, sorry, it's not my show, is it? It's... Did you have something to say to everyone at home? Hello, kids. <laughs> well, we've only just finished saying hello. <laughs> I think it's goodbye from him. And you. Oh, that's goodbye from... Me. Uh, what? Me. Two Ronnies, wasn't it? Two, Two Ronnies. Ronnies. Who's going to be the little one in the corner? <laughs> wow. What, what? Well, considering the long rambling stories, I think you're clearly Ronnie Corbell. <laughs> and because I'm a cunning linguist... You're going to call me Timothy? I'm be... <laughs> On a different show, <laughs> you can be uh, Fletcher. We Fletcher. can, we can, we can we put all that. Oh. Have we got, have we got, has it stopped yet? I, I assume it has. Bye, bye. Do you know the saddest thing? Just in this for ourselves. Just to ourselves next door. <laughs>